Good morning, my friend. I'm in. It's afternoon already, right? Oh, yeah. You know, sometime, sometime there is a moment in your life where you know when you hear the calling, right? You know the fucking feeling. Can you sometimes think about that? Me? Not very often. Not very often, right? Just relax, huh? Just relax. So I take my Glock out of the fucking... I just relax. You know, they relax. So you gotta keep them smooth. You gotta keep them respectable since the moment one, right? I go on, go on, you schmuck. Huh? Huh. So, where I was? Okay, just relax. Huh? Just relax. Rule number one. Do you think about that sometime? Do you, do you think about that? Me not. Not very often. Do you think about dying? Dying dead, two different things. Imagine yourself on the fucking dead bed, on the bed where you will die. You know what's gonna happen to you? I tell you. Here comes all the remorses. Here comes all the fucking feelings. Here comes the dreams which were, which were killed. Only what I know about dreams, that they die in a moment when you make them true. And sometimes they evolve in a nightmares and you're still living the nightmare and you just asking when the dream will come and you asking for chimera which doesn't exist, doesn't matter. But the dreams will come to you. You dying right now, imagine. You fucking dead now. And you regret. Ah oh, yeah. The regret, the self-pityness, the pity. That's the worst fucking feeling. That's the most destructive feeling ever. You know where the pityness comes? When the regrets come? Regret, where, where comes the grief? You know, it's coming from somewhere, you know, it's coming. It has its own roots, its reason, its rational reason, motherfucker. Because you didn't push it to the limits. <laughs> you didn't shoot the moon. You didn't shoot the moon, man. You are not crazy, you are not insane. Because you look at the motherfuckers and they told you he's too insane. He's not normal. You know how I call these normal guys? I call them normal pots. Of course I'm not a normal. 99% of people working 9 to fucking 5 for somebody else. The fucking hertz, you know, how many hertz you need, how many shepherd you need to fucking, you know, survey and control 1,000 fucking hertz. 1,000 fucking number of hertz, of sheep. One shepherd and one 9 millimeter. That's all what you need. 99% <laughs> of people are normal. They got a normal salary, normal money, normal opportunity. They work nine to five. They losers, they motherfuckers. And on the fucking dead bed, on the bed, on the last fucking moments of their fucking light, their life, on this air, I know, I don't know a lot of things, but I know one thing. They will regret. They will fucking regret they didn't try. They didn't take maximum of risk. Because life is about risk. Isn't it? The game is not bad. Only the players are, motherfucker. You know what I say to you? Only the players are. The game itself is not bad. How are you gonna win the game? We know that in 9 out of 10 cases, always casino win. Casino always win. So you gotta play like a casino, man. You gotta simulate, you gotta follow, you gotta be copycat of casino. So you beat the casino, I tell you something. We cannot win in this game. We're thrown on this fucking life. And nobody asks us. We're thrown in the circumstances we don't fucking choose. We're thrown in the time, in the place, of geographical location. You know, we're born to people who we didn't choose to be born to, right? In times, or we don't choose the things, correct? So in this moment, it's one zero for life, for death, for devil, smiling to you. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Good is bad, bad is good, as the fucking Buddhist says, man. Whoever it is, the karma, whatever, man. Name it by all fucking different systems, doesn't matter. In that moment, it's one zero for this cocksucker laughing to you. I call him death or God or whoever. The death is laughing to you, you know? Because it's one zero. Then... You keep it 1-0, or you make it 1-1. One, one. You make it break even. You can never ever win, but you can make it break even. How you gonna break it even? Fucking tell you like how in this fucking society where no fucking 
rituals of growing adult or rituals of fucking getting old, you know, or rituals of death, you know. That's why there are so many suicides because people fucking die before they actually really die, you know what I mean? They mentally die, then the body follows. You know how you make it break even? Motherfucker, you start to dance in the moonlight with the dead. You take a maximum risk. You do right away what you wanna do. And you live. I know it sounds banal to you or stupid, but you live every fucking last of your fucking days on this planet like it's your last one. You know what I say? <laughs> because I have heard somewhere that 10 of 10 cocksuckers, you know, 10 of 10 shrinks saying, 10 of 10 fucking experts claim that we don't gonna make it out of the life. Alive, you know what I say? <laughs> you don't bring this to your robe, to your grave, this Rolex watch. Or maybe you can, right? You can bet it. <laughs> you know what I say? But maybe you should push it to the fucking limits before you go there down, before you chilled three fucking meters beneath the fucking Canadian grass, and you chilled like a Filipino beer on another Mindanao when you get a bullet where I was a lone shark. You know what I say? You gotta take the opportunity, brother. What are you scared of, huh? Ah, you shit in your pants? <laughs> they look at you pointing finger, he's crazy, he's insane. Golden rule. Fuck them. Fuck them all, man. Relax. Relax. And follow your goals. And do whatever you wanna do. And don't look at back, right, south, north, east. Just listen to the voice in your head. You know what I say for our sane guys, you know what I mean? Maybe for insane one, you got a real voice, you know what I say? <laughs> then you got a new visitor shrink. But being a crazy motherfucker, simple message, is good. Being insane is good. Being not normal is good. Being a crazy, being a passionate about dancing, is a good, you know. Once you put yourself in some fucking shape or in some fucking box you know that's what i call you not normal because would you think so that this is a being a normal working nine to five be scared to pay rent be a schmuck don't wake up with a fucking coke on your fucking bedside table they all waking up with the glock nine millimeter on the bedside table and they putting it like that huh? they eating they popping antidepressive and they calling me i'm crazy no man i'm a free Live free or die, motherfucker. That's what you put on my coffin, cocksucker, right? You can put there anything, right? <laughs> maybe package or something. I'll always relax, right? Or maybe you can put there, you know, you can play on my fucking cemetery burning, you know. I feel so good from James Brown because I don't give a shit because I did it all. I push it to the limits and God knows I try. You know what I say? If there is a wall, you know, if there is a motherfucking wall, on the motherfucking wall in front of you. You know what I say? Let's say you're walking down this fucking street. A nice car, right, bro? Maybe we can borrow it? What do you think? We can borrow this car, huh? Hey, the owner won't know. Hey, you meet me at the airport. 8 p.m. We're flying to Panama, one-way ticket. What's the problem, huh? What's your problem, huh? You know the radical, that's what's your problem. So where I was? What the fuck I was talking about? Oh yeah. Imagine there is a wall. Imagine that you're on the crossroad of your life right now. Just like me I am. And it's called transit period. You know what I say? Look. Look at the fucking crossroad. Where do you go? Left? You go right? Or you go straight? Let's say on the left, there is a fucking blind road. You know what I say? Let's say there is a blind road. And everybody on this street is telling you, don't go left. Daniel, whoever you are, you're watching now. They're telling you, don't go left. Because it's a blind road. And there is a sign which saying blind road. Can you see the sign, motherfucker? You cannot climb the fucking high wall, tall wall. You cannot beat it. You cannot go through, motherfucker. You gotta go back. You will go back, you will regret. You know what you're gonna say to these motherfuckers? Fuck you. Fuck you twice, three times. Fuck your mama, fuck your papa, fuck your granny. Huh? And then 
you take the road. If you feel like, if you feel like go through not the main road on the crossroad of your life, and you feel like you take all wanna take you wanna take all fucking sidelines and sideways, and then you reconnect because all fucking roads leads to Rome, motherfucker. Per aspera ad aspera, how dare I fasere, huh? Veni vidi motherfucking witchy cock sacrale ayakta est, huh? Mariturite salutant. So you're walking down the fucking street, right? And it's, you reach the wall on the end, which is blind. You know what I say? And you say to yourself like, hey, maybe they were right. Maybe they were fucking right. Maybe I did mistake now. What are you gonna do? I tell you what you're gonna do. Hit the wall with your head. Hit it. Hit it again. Until your fucking brain get cracked out of your fucking skull. Until your skull get cracked. And the brain is fucking draining on your fucking face. You got a blood everywhere, motherfucker. You know what I say? Then you try to scratch the fucking tunnel, secret one. If some fucking brick is not loosened or something. Trying to find a ways. Climb. You fall down, you break your legs, man. You mess your balls, you break your balls, you bleeding. You fucked up. That's called a life. To get beaten, motherfucker. That's good. Ah, sounds good, be beaten. Then you crawl back on the crossroad. Right? Where you been before? You beaten with dead, with blood, with everything. And they are pointing fingers at you and telling you, You see, idiot? You crazy, you insane, we did told you. But they haven't been there. You did try. And in some... 1,000, maybe one, when you hit one out of 1,000, maybe, maybe the sign is wrong. Maybe your teachers, maybe school, maybe government, maybe all these cocksuckers telling you that you should not go there are wrong. Maybe the sign is wrong. And maybe you will break the fucking wall and you shoot the moon. You dance in the moonlight and you'll be so fucking rich. I don't mean the money. You can be millionaire by your heart, motherfucker. Just don't get bitter by your heart. Don't be bitter. Don't give up. Don't be schmuck. Don't be normal. Don't be idiot. Don't be fucking convenient fuck. Conservative sucker. You know what I say? Don't let them to take your fucking... It's called a daimonion. Socrates call it daimonion. The big fucking shining star in your heart. Don't take it, man. Don't let them take it from you. Be insane, be crazy, be smuggler, be cocaine dealer, huh? be housewife, whoever you want to be. Just do what you want to do. Always do what you want to do. Don't listen to these fucks. Don't listen to these little rats, these cockroaches, these midges. They missed the nobody. Fuck it, better be somebody for day than nobody for a lifetime. Catch me, bro? Ti panje maješ? Comprende? Ti kone? Huh? Rozumish me? You dig it? You with me? Are you with me? That's what keeps your own fucking dignity. Basic rules. The things of ours. Basic rules, man. Oh yeah. And then when you're happy with yourself, like a happy fucking motherfucker, then maybe people feel around you happy, right? I mean, it's not my case, right? <laughs> they feel I'm insane. But sometimes... You don't want to go with the float. You want to go with the float. You know what I mean. But you're not in the crowd of these fucking herds, these sheep, these fucks. You know what I say? You know, you got a two free watchdogs to catch the fucking one herd to get it in the fucking fence. When they get slaughtered, we know what's going to happen with the sheep on the end of their life. We know what's going to happen with all these pigs who thrown into the fucking, you know, butchery place. All pigs going to get slaughtered. You, me, everybody. All right? But some of them, they did enjoy before. <laughs> so when you fucking getting slaughtered, <laughs> you're laughing to death. You gotta die several times before you fucking actually start to live. Ritual of death, motherfucker. We ain't got no ritual of death, you know. Once I was in Mindanao, that VIP flight. 
the fucking giant has exploded and we were falling down and all these cocksuckers with Rolex watch were taking their fucking heavy 20 24 karat gold 2 kilo heavy fucking crosses and they were like ah, I'm gonna die now and I was laughing man I said give me bloody Mary one more the flying and then was flying as well right then the pilot did it he made it we survived that's called ritual of death in Guinea, they cut your fucking skull to the bone, man. And if you survive, then you become a grow old old man and you gone through the fucking ritual of death. You ain't got no ritual of death here. They pointed fucking gun in my face in Mindanao 15 times. I've been living fucking Philippines. I survived two assassinations. Driver find a fucking bomb in my car once. They tried to kidnap me. In Marawi, I smell the fucking... Where they apply Sharia in autonomic fucking shit place called Marawi. In the kingdom, I smell the fucking human flesh. You know how does it smell? How how smells? It's a sweet smell. They apply Sharia there. I was there, man. I did time many times. Once I hit two soldiers in the car. I didn't know if they are fucking rebels or soldiers. I just hit them with car. And I said to myself, hey, in the hotel, you just killed a human being, Daniel. You know how I felt? Great, man. I got so hungry. I got a great dinner, man. I felt so good, man. You know how liberating it is to kill a human being? Oh, yeah. It's an extreme fucking great pleasure. You know what I say? Do whatever you want to do. You want to choose to be bad. Bad is good. Good is bad. What is good? What is good for you? This is bad for somebody else. Once I clip one guy like that, you know what I say? I let the guy to clip him. And we, then I feel remorses. Then the guy told me, hey, he was an assassin. He was a notorious assassin. He killed three people. Then he would kill another people. In that moment, it was bad, but it was good for the victims and the future victims. You know what I'm telling you? You know what I'm telling you here? Don't get misled by the fucking preachers and hypocrites because only the criminal facing the perplexity of the evil is the clear fucking soul and mind. The worst rotten, really rotten to the curb, bitch, to the core. You know who is rotten to the core? Hypocrite, government, taxpayers, motherfuckers, cocksuckers, politicians, presidents. Your mama, your papa telling you do this, that, that. They rotten in hell. The father's cackling in the fucking trees. My mother is dead in the fucking field of the ground, whatever, right? <laughs> You see the watch? Grasp one. You like? Take it. But give. Always give. When you take, always give. Don't follow the rules. Don't follow the laws. What is the basic fucking rule? What they telling us in the Harvard, in the Princeton, motherfucker? What they teach our fucking best brains? Our best brain of our generation which will be brainwashed. In the first lesson of ethic in the fucking Harvard, in the elite school, they, you know what they're gonna tell you? They tell you that the law and moral is something totally different. Two different entities. To be ethical and to be moral and to be, to be ethical and to follow the law. Minimum law, minimum fucking ethic is a maximum of law. That's what they're teaching us. That's what they're teaching your kids, my kids, everyone's kids. That's what they're teaching you. The system wants you to know that you piece of shit and they are right. Hey, you know what says St. Angustinus, this guy who was a heavy drunker, before they call him a saint? He says St. Angustinus, bad law is not the law. The bad law is not the law. If the law is bad, you can break it. You always break the law, which is bad. Not every necessary, every law is bad. But if the rule and the law is bad, break it. Break it. Or it will break you. <laughs> but you are unbreakable, my friend. You understand me. You connected with me. If you not, fuck you. If yes, welcome to my kingdom. You feel it? It's a new day. Yeah. It's a new dawn. And you can do anything, whatever you will. Because you lizard king. You can do anything. Whatever. You want to make one million dollars? Go ahead. Or at least try. <laughs> because if you try, 
Then on the death bed, when you, on your last, when you dying, you know, in moment of your fucking death, when the death's coming to you, there's nothing bad that. We don't know nothing about this. Maybe it's good. The dying is bad. That's what we scared of. Nobody knows about that nothing and everybody is scared about it. It's coming to you, then you feel fear. Because you didn't try to earn one million bucks. Maybe it's a banal dream. Maybe you wanted to be famous. So did try. Maybe you wanna be nobody just like me. You wanna be flaner. In page in part of my life, I wanna be nobody. I wanted to be nobody. Just invisible guy. So be one. Hey, you wanna steal money from your mama's fucking drawer and smoke some fucking marijuana? Do it, man. Good. You wanna be preacher, be preacher. You wanna be good, be good. You wanna help people, be help people. You wanna be nobody, be nobody. You wanna kill yourself, kill yourself. It's just up to you, distract yourself. But one thing, one thing you cannot do. Be scared. <laughs> be full of anxiety, motherfucker. That's something you cannot allow yourself. Because the fear will stop you. The fear controls you. I don't say be fearless. Because sometimes the fear help you and save your bacon because you don't do some dangerous things. You gotta balance it. But on the other hand, if you paralyze by fear, then you won't achieve nothing. Then you won't be happy. Then you'll be normal. If you want to be normal, it's okay. But I know you don't. You want to be what? You want to be crazy and happy. The secret is to being happy. So me, I'm going to be happy now. <laughs> yeah. One day, one year, ten years, one second, one minute, one day. And then you're happy. Then you living a whole happy life. <laughs> it's just a mathematic motherfucker. You know what I say? It's like a Fibonacci or golden angle. You see the golden angle? You see my balls and the leg? It's a golden angle. Golden angle is everywhere, everywhere, motherfucker. I got my golden angle in my heart, huh? You crazy. They call you crazy. Of course. What a terrible fucking life you gotta go through if you don't get crazy, right? <laughs> At least once. So...